let's just take a big deep breath okay before we get into this video because i feel like we are all like i don't know about you guys but i'm hyperventilating a little bit i am so excited to be doing this video you guys actually don't even understand i have butterflies in my stomach everybody i've had to take some deep breaths before we film because i'm just like ellie we are doing the first angel gal primark call on the channel today angels welcome back everybody i missed you guys so much wow hang on a minute this is the first haul in the filming room the newly painted filming room what do we all think about that and it's a primark call is today not just the most magical day of all primark reopened after having its doors shut it's like we're in some sort of magical movie you know like willy wonka willy wonka's chocolate factory shut for 10 years that's how long it feels like for primark so yes primark has reopened i'm feeling extremely happy about it as i'm sure a lot of you guys are as well i popped in yesterday and i literally I, like i cannot even lie to you guys when i walked in i nearly cried like i had an extreme amount of emotion hit me just out of the blue i mean you walk in and there's just nothing quite like picking up your basket thinking right which hour am I going to start off in knowing that you've got a full hour and a half of good shopping I just want to do a little bit of a disclaimer before we get into the haul as well um I am fully aware that I am in such a lucky position to be in where it's okay for me to go out and do shopping I know that lots of people all around the world still kind of can't do that yet obviously but for us in England the shops have reopened and everybody's really excited about it and I asked you guys over on my Instagram stories if you thought that um how what your feelings were on me doing kind of like a big primark haul post lockdown you guys wanted to see it or not and the overwhelming response was yes please do that i'm so excited for it to reopen i can't wait to see what's in store so obviously as usual angels your wishes might command here we are today also i just want to say um if anybody is thinking about going to primark or any shop for that matter and they are a little bit nervous about it i must say when i went into primark yesterday i i cannot praise primark enough for the way they were dealing with everything um there were such strict rules about staying two meters apart from everybody else in the shop um there was hand sanitizer everywhere they were letting people in one at a time you were only allowed to touch things that you were actually going to be purchasing so um primark i think have dealt with reopening really fabulously it is so lovely to have like a sense of normality back after all of these very strange weeks so yeah i'm really really excited to be doing this video for you guys today if you guys are excited to watch them please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and after the longest intro in the whole entire world let's jump into the haul okay so we have literally so many different areas to run through today we have clothes we have pajamas we have accessories we have hair care we have cleaning we have home decor there is so much to go through but i thought we could start with some of the cute summery clothing bits that they've got in at the moment don't get me wrong angels i know i'm not going to be caught lying by a poolside in florida this summer but you might catch me in my new garden hint, hint garden transformation vlog coming very soon if you aren't subscribed already angel girl join the fam don't you want to see the coolest garden transformation you've ever seen? The last one I picked up was this cream one. I really, really love the style of it. I think it looks so classic and cute. I got this in a size 10 and this one was £10. It's a really lovely ribbed style. I love the one shoulder look. And then, of course, you can also take off the other shoulder because it's a strap. It's lovely and high-legged. And um, if you don't catch me... Oh, see? Just love it. I love it. If you don't catch me sunbathing in my new garden in this, then you will catch me wearing it as a bodysuit out shopping because I think that is fabulous another little swimsuit i picked up was this one now they had this in a couple of different colors they had it in red well i do you know what it's actually more like a coral would that not just be the most beautiful lipstick color ever i just love it they also had it in white and black as well and again this is a really really nice fit it's super high leg again i got a size 10 and this one was six pounds it's super flattering i love the way it looks when it's on and again i'm going to be wearing this as a bodysuit with shorts um if i don't wear it as a swimming cozy to go on top of my swimwear angels now listen would it really be an ellie darby hot girl summer if we didn't all have a cute kimono i don't think so so i picked up this one yesterday oh my goodness i am just obsessed with that i'm gonna pair it for you guys in a try on clip with one of those swimming costumes it's a 
fabulous, stunning lace white kimono. They did also have it in black. I got this one in a size small and it was £12. I just love all the detailing on it. I think it is literally so pretty. The sleeves are so beautiful. And I think that um, if this wasn't being sold for £12 in Primark, you'd probably catch it on like ASOS or Misguided for double the price. So I thought that was a really lovely steal. Moving on from swimmer, I picked up a couple of clothes. First one being this extremely dainty, cute floral top. Look at that. I'm obsessed. I got this one in a size extra small, which is a UK 6 to 8, and this one was £6. The only thing about this top is it's quite sheer, so you would have to wear like a bralette or maybe nipple cut covers underneath the back is completely see-through but nevertheless it is such a gorgeous top i love pattern on it i think floral pattern is so in at the moment this reminds me of stuff i was wearing when i was literally like four years old but i mean you can just call me ellie the trendsetter you know predicting trends 20 years on i've seen lots of companies have really cute prints like this and um i thought it was just really nice that you can find something like this in primark and then finally the last little piece of clothing i picked up was this stunning play suit Look at that, Angels. It's a linen play suit in Primark. I'm obsessed. Something tortoiseshell buttons. I just love it. I got this in a size 10 and this one was £13. This one is a little bit long on me, so I do have to roll the um, shorts up. I just love it. It's extremely supportive. It's so flattering. It's got a cute little belt that you tie around to make it even more flattering and bring it in at the waist. I think paired with some cute sunnies, some lovely sandals and a hat, you can't go wrong this summer. So yeah, Primark did definitely have like some cute summery clothing bits in. I didn't actually need to pick up too many clothes because I think like the majority of us, I've been doing so much online shopping in lockdown. It's actually ridiculous every day a parcel's coming con's like what the hell have you ordered this time and i'm like babes look i've got to keep myself looking stylish for the two people that are going to be seeing me you and herbie so i didn't need to pick up many new clothes um but i couldn't resist those bits tea break let's all have a quick sip i've actually got a smoothie today instead of a tea because now the shops are opening it's a bit like honey i've got to get back on my again do you know what I mean? I'm not just hibernating in my living room anymore, watching suits and eating cookies. You know, pretty soon I'm going to be out in the big wide world. So honey's got to get her health game back. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, next up, I thought we could talk accessories. Oh my God, angels, let me just prepare you. This might be... I was going to say my favourite section of today's haul, but actually it's not. We've got a better one. Hint, hint, pyjamas. You know, Primark pyjama queen. She has come back to life, everybody. But saying that, they did have some absolutely fantastic accessories in there yesterday. Of course, we have to get the basics, honey. I have been missing my Primark crocodile clips. Now, if you don't know about these, you must be new here, honey. But basically, to do the messy bun, we need the crocodile clip. I end up getting like three of these packs every single summer because they're just so handy. If you guys want a bun tutorial, let me know. I do think I did one last summer at some point in one of my videos, but yeah, let me know. Hint, hint, you're gonna need these. I also picked up these adorable scrunchies. Look at those. Oh my goodness, two pounds. You get the most stunning pink scrunchies you've ever seen in your whole life. Love those. I'm thinking pair, pair, pair that with my floral top. Oh, I just love it. Don't you love it? Let's all be extra girly this summer. I also picked up a couple of belts. Now look, basically, with some of my outfits this summer, they need to be styled with a belt. I'm talking gorgeous, stunning maxi dresses that I just need to be cinched in at the waist a little bit. Now look, look no further than Primark for belts because look at them. They, they look so expensive. And actually these were only, this one was four pounds and this one was five pounds just love it look at that i'm sorry they're very beachy style they're gonna go with all of my dresses that i have this summer so yeah i picked up those jewelry i picked up this beautiful oh. love that love that chunky gold chain i've seen so many of these these are so in fashion right now they literally look stunning with bodysuits swimming costumes little tops dresses they just bling bling babes do you know what i mean this one was three pounds can't wait to style that and then um oh and now look funny story about these earrings okay so i don't know how i mean i literally first stepped to primark 20 minutes after opening time um but already that thing had kind of happened where like clothes were being stomped on on the floor earrings were missing 
from their packs and unfortunately this was one of them um i looked through the whole rail to see if there was an, a pack that actually like had all of the earrings there but there wasn't the main reason i wanted the pack was for these middle chunky ones look at them look i love them i think stunning we have to take one for the team angels right sometimes we win in life sometimes we lose this is a and we're just gonna let it go right over our head somehow we're gonna have to style one bigger hoop and one smaller hoop that don't have sisters to match but that's okay because i think the chunky one makes up for it so this was three pounds this set um they did offer me 10 percent off when I got to the checkout, because obviously there are two earrings missing, but they said they were gonna have to call a supervisor over and the poor girl, she just looked so stressed. I said, honey, you'd be saving me 30p. Don't worry about it. So that was my Good Samaritan deal of the day. I also picked up these cute little face masks, sheet masks. This one was 80p, this illuminating, and this one was £1.50, that's plumping. Now, why is that nearly double the price, do we wonder? Different branding, I'm gonna say this is potentially more the basic range and this is more of the vip makeup oh my god okay so you guys know i love primark makeup especially primark bronzers i have a primark bronzer in my makeup bag that i have had it's pretty disgusting but for like literally 18 months i love it so much you just can't beat it honestly if you're ever looking for like one of those bronzers that goes across the chest area on holiday or like you need something on your shoulders or whatever go to primark their bronzers are the best so i picked up this summer storm highlighter this is in shade breeze look at that i just love it they had some absolutely stunning tones in there they also have like a body shimmer illuminator liquid thing you know like the fenty body lava they kind of had a um product like that i didn't need it I wish I did because it was gorgeous. That was £3.50. And then I also couldn't resist this highlighter, which was £3. This is called the Topaz Glow Highlighter and it looks like that. Wow. Wowie. Here we go. Let's do a quick... Wows. Wowza. Love it. A couple of other little accessories that I picked up yesterday was these Andrew Fitzsimmons um, hair products. I got the Luxe hair oil and the fresh dry shampoo. We're always in need of fresh dry shampoo. Just love it and I've heard good things. My sister actually loves the Andrew Fitzsimmons stuff. And then, um, yeah, the hair oil. So the shampoo was £2.50 and then, yeah, the hair oil, that was £3.50. Um, I actually used this last night and I won't lie, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's the best hair oil that I have in my cupboard but it smells really nice. You can use it on dry hair or damp hair. Um, and for £3.50, Angels, I don't really think you can go wrong. I also picked up this lovely little £1 peach lip balm. Tastes like peaches. I know everybody tells you not to eat your lip balm, but sometimes you just can't resist a little how does that taste? And it tastes like peaches. I also picked up this um, Naturals Exfoliating Mitt. Mine has gone walkies somewhere, I don't know where. I'm gonna try that one out and then, um, oh, finally, out of the accessories pile, I also picked up these. Now look, angels, don't judge me, okay? I think the last time I bought fake nails from Primark was when I was about 13 years old, but I'm just sick of these. I'm sick of them. And do you know what? I don't think it's wrong for a gal to want to just feel that love from acrylics moving on to my favorite part of the haul which is pajamas now primark had an array yesterday of stunning summer pajamas and i did kind of buy a range for the first time in my life okay i went to the adult ish section of the primark underwear and pajamas as opposed to like straight to the disney shirts if you know what i mean if you're an avid primark lover like me you'll know what i mean by that you know where it's like the ps secret or what's it called what's the range called the love to lounge ps something um but yeah usually i literally go straight over to the disney shirts and to the like fluffy pajamas but yesterday i just saw this one outfit for pajamas in the women's section i thought i need that so here's what it is it's this stunning white silk lace set this is the top i got the top in a size uh, medium I think because I like my pajamas to be oversized so this was six pounds straps are adjustable um, just love the pattern on it I think it's really really cute and I got that to pair with these okay so these don't judge me for these because I feel like I could easily pass as like a 38 year old mum when I wear these and I'm realistically a 24 year old non-mum but these are like cropped 
trousers and they come to like just below your knee i think so are they long shorts i don't know but they match the top and they're really lightweight they're elastic around the waist they have pockets um i got these in a size small and these ones were 10 pounds and then to complete the set okay we have this stunning little summery pajama dressing gown i got this in a size medium and this was 12 pounds and i just think all put together that set is just stunning i'll put a trunk clip here but i love it i think we all need a nice pair of summer pajamas you know that you actually feel really nice in but you're also comfortable in i just thought you couldn't go wrong with that set so yeah love that um i also just picked up this random little pair of pajama shorts and i got these in a size medium again because i like these to be oversized and these ones were three pounds. Again, I don't think you can really beat pyjama shorts from Primark. And I thought that white detailing, like they're like broidery style. They were really pretty. Oh my God, look at all. See, then I went to the Disney section, I couldn't help myself. Like some, like a version of me comes out that I just can't hide anymore. Whenever I go to the Primark pyjama section with Disney. So first up from the Disney collection, I picked up my first night shirt of summer 2020 too cute for you boo too cute for you i'm part of the aristocrats look at little marie on there she's not stunning marie 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 oh no i wish i had a cat called marie but yeah love that i mean white gray and pink <laughs> my favorite colors i got that in a size small and that one was six pounds oh my god okay this is like real disney nerd coming out of me when i show you this next item but i couldn't resist it like i said you know like i just can't hold back look oh, look at this one it's one of the coolest t-shirts you've ever seen don't you want to be going to bed in style everybody this one i got in a size medium and this was six pounds i just love it look part of the crew and then the other night shirt now look i i just love night shirts okay so just don't get me wrong i get ready in them i sleep in them i wear them all day if i'm not seeing anybody so my third and final night shirt that i picked up was the fab five because i mean really it should be the sick six with me shouldn't it if anybody can think of a better s word to use there then please comment below but just love it we've got donald mickey daisy minnie and goofy it's a pink shirt just love it again this one was a size small and this one was eight pounds eight pounds now why two pound increase there primark it's okay i'll pay whatever for my disney shirts and then the final pair of pajamas that i bought now listen can we just all not judge me about how many pajamas i've bought from primark okay the only place i get my pajamas basically is primark so yeah the last pair of pajamas that i bought was oh, just is that not so cute miss bunny six pounds size small pink polka dot little shorts and then the top i actually got on an extra large because i like my tops to be oversized this one was seven pounds stay home in pj's kind of day honey that's my kind of day every day don't get me wrong that was me before lockdown right so these pajamas basically had my name written all over them and then of course the one pound thongs look at that beautiful array of colors don't we just love it we've got some pops of color in there we've got some neutrals um i was in need quite clearly of some new thongs so there we go oh my god everybody don't be mad at me because i forgot these in the accessories section of the video but look who's gonna be the coolest chick in the world west ellie darby that's right now look these won't suit me right now because i've got a bun but let's just give you an idea oh i mean look look at this one this is for me, like, right, look, hang on. This is for me when I'm by the imaginary pool that I'm not going to be led by this summer. And then this one is for when I'm, like, trying to be, like, Kylie Jenner, Sophia Ritchie vibe, walking down LA Rodeo Drive. Oh, tell me that's not a vibe. <sighs> Just love it. So, I always think with these Primark hats, okay... I always look at them. This is the thought process I go through. I look at them, I think, oh, that's nice. And then I think, Ellie, shut up. You're not going to wear a hat. And then I think, yeah, but do you know what? If that was in Topshop, that would be sold for like literally 25 quid or something like that. And then it would be cool. So just because it's Primark, why do you have that thought process? Does anybody else have that thought process in Primark? Because I do. 
Um, so I bought them. This one was £4 and then this adorable one was also £4. So I just love it. And I'm going to become more of a hat chick this summer. You know, I want to be cool. Con keeps telling me I need to be a bit more trendy. So we're going to push the boat out a little bit this summer. I say that. We probably won't, but... Okay, moving on to home accessories. Um, now, the Primark I went to was the Bath one. That is my local one. Sometimes if I want to push the boat out and mainly go to Primark for the home accessories, then I will go to Cabot Circus because um, if anybody's local, then you'll know Cabot Circus Primark is like oh, a gift from God. And they have a huge... They have like basically a whole floor dedicated to home. Uh, but the one in Bath doesn't really have that much. So I didn't pick up too much for home, but... I got these cute little baskets that I thought were adorable. They're going to go in here in the filming room and just have some of my accessories and stuff in. These were £7 and it's a three pack. You get two little ones like that and then one big one. Then um, the other ba baskets that I picked up I thought were really nice for the bathroom. These ones, I got two of them. They were £5 each. They're just white paper rope baskets and um, I'm going to put all of my cleaning products next to the toilet in these basket baskets because at the moment we don't have anything for the cleaning products so that's a fun story about my life in my bathroom i also just picked up some hangers because of my shopping addiction during lockdown i've been running out the only ones they had were pink i'm not mad but i mean like my aesthetic in my wardrobes is white but it's pink pink is the only other color i would have substituted that for and then finally um the last few items we're down to now guys so hold on to your hats i picked up these two little lantern candles because i bought some new hurricanes to go in my garden my new garden that we're having transformed if i haven't told you already these unscented they were literally just like a pound or something yeah one pound each and then finally okay prepared to be shook i've kind of left like a big surprise for the last item from Primark, but okay, ready, shut your eyes, one, two, three, open your eyes. Look at that. Sorry, since when did Primark do minky sponges? I mean, a sister's not mad though, do you know what I mean? I actually haven't braved B&M at all throughout lockdown, I've been too, to me B&M is just like a bit of a sanctuary, I wanna go in there and let my hair down, and just, you know, enjoy it so I, I haven't wanted to go when it's kind of been a bit of a stressful time so i have been missing my minky sponges so when i walked into Primark yesterday i thought i've manifested these like how crazy that my manifesting powers are that strong that primark came through do you know what i mean two pounds each so a pound of sponge i got some pink floral ones and some green ones these are great for everything I have one for each separate room in my house. I have one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom, one for the ensuite, blah, blah, blah. And Angels, finally, I don't know how long this haul has been for you guys today, but I hope you've enjoyed coming on that emotional journey with me. That is the end of the haul. That's the end of the first Primark haul post lockdown. What did we all think? I personally think they've smashed it. We've got some nice summer bits in there. We've got some cute accessories. Maybe I went a little bit crazy because I haven't been in ages, but I... Loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed my experience going to Primark for the first time. Um, I hope you guys all loved the haul. I really hope this video has been a little bit um, informative for you guys if you are judging whether or not to go to Primark to see what kind of things they have in store at the moment. I wish I could give you guys all a big hug because we're nearly there. The world is slowly starting to return a little bit back to normality. We've all done so well to get through it and I'm really, really proud of all of you and just think what a treat to have finally done a Primark haul after all this time. So that's me for the day and Jules. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like to see from me over the next few weeks. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, whatever you are doing. I'm sending you loads of love, big hugs, and um, I will see you guys in the next one.